This is a 09 Ram, but this video is going to be very helpful on many makes and models such as the Chrysler Aspen, the Dodge Durango, the Ram 1500 pistons right here. When you take this off, make sure you don't find any type of fluid or any type of liquid that looks like it's coming from those boots. If it is, minutes to make the video. So if I wasn't doing the video, probably would take me about 25 minutes and times two. So you're about uh, under an hour. With these uh, slider pins, they weren't that bad. If I wiped these off and I found a little bit of residue left on these slider pins, I would either use some brake clean to press the pistons back into the caliper. I'm going to be using a caliper compressor. There are many different types of designs of caliper compressors, and whatever one you have, feel free to use it in the fashion that was designed for. Do not do so. So 22 foot pounds, 3 8 torque wrench, and you'll be just fine. If you don't have a torque wrench, I get the question a lot: Do we have to use a torque wrench? Why do we use it? It's okay.